Yo, Higassin here, aka Tom Fidzy, with another One Piece ranking video. This time ranking my top five worst devil fruits. Now, quick disclaimer, this is my five worst devil fruits in terms of my least favourite. This is not the five weakest devil fruits. I feel like that is a lot harder to judge because there are so many factors regarding strength of devil fruits, you know. It can be about the user itself, some users might be rubbish using a certain devil fruit but then you give it to somebody else and they might be actually really good with it because they might find unique ways to use it. It can be based around whether or not they've done awakening. You know, just because the devil fruit is weak doesn't mean it won't have a really strong ability when awakened. It's to do with how it can be incorporated with Hucky and various other combat factors. So this is my five worst devil fruits from my own personal opinion based on a whole bunch of different things not just strength alone. Okay, so let's get into this ranking video with something that I don't quite like doing and that is an honourable mention. I never really like when you see honourable mentions in videos because it's just a way for the creator to be like, don't worry, I'm going to list some of the things that uh, might not be on this list but I'm still putting them on here so that they're kind of in the ballpark and you don't totally hate me for it. But this time I feel like I have to have an honourable mention which I'll get to in a little bit. And the honourable mention this time is going to be Walpole and he's Baku Baku no me. He's Munch Munch Fruit. Because I was so conflicted as to whether or not to put it at number five. I really hated how it was portrayed in the show. You know, Warpal was a weak character. I didn't really like him. I hated the design of him. I hated how the design of the Munch Munch Fruit looked with the big, like, rubbery mouth that he had where he chomped down on things. I thought that looked pretty stupid, even for early One Piece. But the concept of the Devil Fruit I find really fascinating. The fact that he can just, whatever he eats, he can, like, uh, add it to his body and use it for defensive purposes or attacking purposes. I feel like there's a lot of potential in that devil fruit that we sadly haven't seen. So he just made it off of the list because of that reason. But let's talk about number five and why it was like a bit of a debate as to whether or not I should put Wobble on the list. So number five is Mr. Five and the Bomu Bomu no me, the Bomb Bomb Fruit and it's brought up a lot with this devil fruit about how it's an explosion based devil fruit you know he can create massive explosions which as you all know explosions are very very powerful tools and it was so wasted on the fact that he, all he did with it was he picked his nose and he would flick his bogeys and they would explode now again for early one piece that's pretty kind of funny, you know, it was a little bit more forgivable then as we get into the story. It's like, what you, when you look back, you know, like, his status was so wasted, you know. It was kind of funny then that he was just flicking bogeys and it made him so that he wasn't too overpowered. But you just look back and you're like, what a waste, especially, and this is why Mr. Five is on the list, especially when you get to Dressrosa, and Dressrosa will come up a lot in this video, you get to Dressrosa and you have Gladius and he's Pamu Pamu no me, he's Pop Pop Fruit, which is essentially the exact same thing, you know, a pop is just, it's just an explosion, it's a release of energy, it's just the way the word is used. You know, you normally think of a pop as something more smaller scale. But as you see with GLaDOS, he can create big explosions. He is also someone who creates explosions and uses it to a much better effect. In fact, he can not only use it on himself, but on other things. It's as if he had Mr. Five's Devil Fruit and awakened it. Because that is what we see when we see Awakening, that... Like uh, Do Flamingo, he not only can create strings from his body, but he can turn things around him into strings and affect his environment. That's kind of what we're seeing with the Pop Pop Fruit and Gladius. And it's just like, they're the same thing. It, I felt like Oda was like, oh, I kind of wasted the Explosion Fruit, so I'll recreate it in Dressrosa with a slightly different thing. But the only real difference is kind of how it's named. But essentially the core concept is the exact same Devil Fruit. And that just makes... Mr. Five completely overshadowed by Gladius, who was not only kind of a more fun, quirky character, I really liked his design, but he just portrayed the exploding human abilities so much better. And the reason why I was like, should I include Mr. Five on this list or should I put Walpole? I feel like I do have to include Mr. Five because he is so overshadowed. If Gladius had the exact same devil fruit and we found out that he maybe killed Mr. Five and stole his devil fruit and then awakened it. 
then yeah, the Bomu Bomu, the Bomb Bomb fruit would would not be on this list because it is such a cool devil fruit. But because you have that and the Pop Pop fruit both doing the exact same thing, one of them is overshadowed and feels completely wasted. So Mr. Five, you're on this list, I'm afraid. Number four is a very personal choice and that is Khalifa and the Owie Owie No Me. The bubble bubble fruit that let Khalifa turn into a soap human. This is mainly on here because I hated how it was represented. Particularly the crime that it did to Nami. I thought this visual effect was hideous. I get it. I get why Nami looked like that with a rounded body because it was like she had been cleaned with soap and like polished and you know like the whole thing with it you know there was an interesting side to this devil fruit that it kind of cleans people of their power which is also a little bit stupid but it was quite interesting the way that it was uh, added onto it you know it wasn't just like sip slippery and soap bubbles and stuff you know it was kind of cool how Oda added in the element but the way it was visualized I thought was pretty bad on the eyes especially to poor Nami Swan I can't believe you did that Oda to Nami Swan it was quite disgusting uh, and I just thought the devil fruit on its own was quite boring and I think because it reminded me so much of past devil fruits that we've seen particularly like Alveda's uh, slip slip fruit you know also had kind of properties of soap and stuff and as such I just found Khalifa's devil fruit very boring very similar to what we've seen before but the main reason why it is on this list is because of this and speaking of devil fruits that are bad on the eyes is number three, Jayola, Jora, and Ato Ato Nomi, the art art fruit. Again, I know it's based on art, you know, art is very subjective. It comes a lot from personal opinion, you know, different people have different views on what art is. And that was kind of the gag with this devil fruit. But this devil fruit looked horrendous, I thought, especially in the anime where it was just bright multicolored blobs everywhere uh, you know considering how amazing Oda's artwork is to then have to go to chapters with this was vile it was vile I didn't like it I didn't think it was very interesting I thought it was pretty stupid I mean it's kind of clever that she can kind of turn things into art but the weird thing is disability was revealed in Dressrosa and then in the exact same arc Another devil fruit that was art based belonging to Kanjiro appeared and I feel like it was portrayed so much more better and is so much more interesting. Now I will get into some potential uh, 1 0 spoilers for stuff post the Odin flashback. So I'll leave uh, timestamps down in the comments below uh, about where the spoilers are. So you have been warned, gonna, gonna uh, talk about some spoilers with Kanjiro because Kanjiro, yes. His devil fruit also, you know, when he's drawing, they are ugly. Especially, you know, some of his designs, like the bird and stuff, they're, they're all mangled. They're all a little bit wrong. But they're, like, ugly, but also charming and kind of cute. You know, they're like drawings that, like, uh, like a kid has drawn. You know, the world's best artist. But you look at them and you're like, oh, you drew that for me? That's actually really good. You know, I'm going to put it on the fridge. It's that kind of, like charm to them that you're like actually it is really nice whereas Jonas was just weird horrible it made the characters and the sunny look <laughs> so stupid and also with Kandro you know as we find out and he, this is where we're getting into the spoilers he doesn't have to make them look like that either. We've seen that he can create really realistic, lifelike drawings. I feel like his Devil Fruit has so much more potential compared to Jayola's, you know? He can literally draw an army. He can use the actual ink to attack as well. We've seen him, like, raining down ink. Like, imagine if he drew, like, uh, the bird, but really realistic. And we see that in one who creates a really realistic looking bird. It's very much kind of like Sai from Naruto. I think it's so much more interesting. He's Devil Fruit. And it has so much more potential. Uh, com than it is compared to Jyola's. And because of that Jyola's feels completely outclassed kind of by Kanjiro's. It's so weird that we've got two art fruits. Right next to each other in Dressrosa. And that one automatically kind of straight away overshadowed the other. I mean maybe... 
if we had Jordan's level fruit being used by somebody else to create different artwork, maybe more realistic artwork, it might be a little bit better. Although the kind of the way she used it was she made them all like cubists and stuff so they couldn't really move properly. I just think it was a little bit stupid to be honest. And uh, I think Kandra's art based fruit is a lot better and a lot more interesting. And so that is why Jola and the Atto Atto, the art art fruit is at number three. At number two, is another very personal opinion for me and kind of similar to like Khalifa and that is, you know, this one might be like a little bit controversial. That is the Awakened Zones that we saw in Impel Down, the Jailers. And they are mainly on here because I think that they are such wasted potential. You know, again, as, as I said at the beginning, this isn't just about like weakest Devil Fruits because as we saw, these were very, very strong characters. Every time they got knocked down, they got back up again. They were just charging in. But what I really dislike about these Devil Fruits, like all of them combined, in fact, it's not even really the Devil Fruits. It is the fact that they were kind of grouped together and called Awakened Zones. So that's why I'm grouping all of these together. You know, I, I don't dislike the fact that there is a Zebra Zone or a Rhino Zone. In fact, they're really cool. I am disappointed though that the Rhino Zone was absolutely wasted on these characters, but it's the fact that these are Awakened Zones, and this is what we got as Awakened Zones, the first time we heard Awakening in the show, and they just become these like, kind of stuck in hybrid form, stupid, very instinctive beasts. Is that all we got to look forward to for Awakened Zones in the future? That's so disappointing, especially when we see the potential that Awakening has in like Paramecias, where they can turn their surroundings into their devil fruit. And it's so disappointing that this is what an Awakened Zone is. You know, I feel like there's so much more potential for Awakened Zones, you know? We have Chopper and his points and him going monster point, you know? How cool would it have been if we found out that an Awakened Zone can achieve things similar to Chopper's points and that Chopper was like ahead of the game with it. That would have been really cool, you know? I would have imagined that an Awakened Zone would have been someone that has such mastery over their zone abilities that they can amplify certain aspects, which is what we see in Chopper's zone forms. You know, imagine having other zone users like Luchi gaining a monster point form uh, or even something similar to like a Sulong kind of mode like with the minx as an awakened thing like a temporary power boost maybe not quite monster point but more like sulong no instead if marco or rob lucci or any other zone user was to get an awakening of their devil fruit is this all we have to look forward to them being a mindless instinctive hybrid form that's just dumb and stupid like with like derpy little faces like is that is that all we've got to look forward to with them such wasted potential i hope that maybe there was like a retcon at some point where it's like they were kind of like forced awakenings or they uh failed awakenings or something like that or some other law to explain why an awakened zone becomes that or why they were portrayed like that um so maybe maybe in the future they could drop off of this list but right now i'm very disappointed at the fact that we get Awakened Zones, and that is what we've got. And at number one, my least favourite Devil Fruit, going back to Dressrosa, again, an arc that was very hit and miss when it came to Devil Fruits, is the one belonging to Mac Vice, the Tun Tun Fruit, because it is exactly the same as the Kilo Kilo Fruit, the Kilogram Kilogram fruit, Kiro Kiro, that is used by Miss Valentine's. They are exactly the same. Don't try and fool me, Oda, that they are any different. It is literally just the made up human words <laughs> regarding what the weights are. One, oh, one can uh, just control the amount of kilograms they are, one can control the amount of tons they are. It's the same thing, they're both weight. And they're both using the abilities in the exact same way. We both see them, they go up in the air, and then they drop down on people. Like, it, again, it feels like the Kilo Kilo and the Tun Tun Fruit. It feels like the Tun Tun Fruit should have been like the awakened form of the... Or like if you've trained a lot with the Kilo Kilo Fruit, you then upgrade to the Tun Tun Fruit. Like, ugh. I hate the fact that they're so similar. I mean, Mac Vice is a dumb stupid character anyway i didn't like him didn't find him interesting 
Uh, and I just feel like the devil fruit is used much better, to much better effect in Miss Valentine. Because you look at Mac Vice, he's a big guy. Yeah, if he's going to body slam onto you, it's going to hurt anyway. But with Miss Valentine, what was cool was that there was this contrast. You know, she was, she looked very light. She was very petite, very slim. She had an umbrella. She had very like, she, you see her, she's like floating along. And then all of a sudden, bam, she smacks down on you and she's heavy. That was really cool because it was such a cool twist. You have a character that looks very light, very petite, but can be very heavy. Whereas Mac Vice, he's a very big, very heavy looking guy who can be very big and very heavy. And it was just the same thing repeated, but not done as well. It is a reverse Mr. Five gladi uh, Gladius style situation. Again, it would have maybe been way more interesting if Mac Vice was like, oh yeah, I ran into, uh, I ran into Miss Valentine and I killed her and I ate her devil fruit. And then, you know, you, that would have been really cool because then it's like, that's two people. You know, if you're going to reuse the devil fruits, do it that way, like what we're seeing with, with the Blackbeard pirates. But no, instead we get a second devil fruit that has basically the exact same properties as the devil fruit that was previously already seen and previously already done better anyway and you didn't improve on it in any way and as such I don't like it I just don't like it I thought it was dumb I thought it was stupid it was just repetitive if it was the same devil fruit that would have been fine the fact that it's a different devil fruit means that I dislike this one because it was the one that came second and it did the reverse as I said with uh, Mr. Five and Gladius that it didn't improve it in fact it made it worse so mac vice probably like one of the laziest things that i think oda has done you know for all of these amazing storytelling that oda has put in one piece i think this is like probably one of the laziest bits of just i i kind of want to do this ability again so i'm just gonna recycle it you know and uh, just give it a slightly different name i don't really know why he had to uh, just create a completely separate devil fruit for essentially the same abilities. Uh, it just feels a little bit weird and off. And uh, yeah, what does that mean? Does that mean that there's like a pound pound fruit as well? Um, an ounce ounce fruit, you know, it's it's just a word. Uh, I, I, I've never liked Mac Vice to begin with. I just thought he was ugly. Why has he got a stupid beaver towel? So yeah, Mac Vice, you're number one. You're the one of the worst characters, and you also have the worst devil fruit, in my personal opinion. So there you go. That is my top five list of the five worst devil fruits, in my own personal opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you think of my list and what you think are the worst devil fruits there are you know i'm sure quite a few of you are like i can't believe you didn't include like the the jacket fruit yeah that was a stupid devil fruit but it was kind of like so stupid that it's charming in a way kind of like kanjaro's art that's why i didn't include it in the list also like you saw it like once twice it's pretty like it's one of them ones where you're like oh yeah that devil fruit existed that was dumb and then you move on whereas the rest of these you know they all kind of got involved in like main fights main parts of the story and a lot of them i feel like were very much wasted potential a lot of them were kind of repeats of stuff that we've seen before that made them very unoriginal and uh, especially you know yeah in the case of the awakened zones uh, i feel like it was missed opportunities in there as well so there you go that is my list uh, i'll probably do a few more videos like this maybe the best devil fruits or my favorite ones uh, maybe one day i will tackle the what is the weakest devil fruit can you actually pin down what the weakest devil fruit is let me know down in the comments below what you think the weakest devil fruit is uh, and the strongest one as well uh so yeah hey so thanks for watching what did you think let me know about it in the comments below and if you enjoyed my video maybe give it a like and if you really liked it why not subscribe you can follow me on twitter instagram and twitch oh and here's a related video you might enjoy and something more fresh i've been higassin and i'll talk to you next time bye